we say Country song, te- country song teacher, tongue twister. Welcome to another He Played What Wednesday, where we take a little break from the country jams. I've been doing a, a lot of non-countries this week. Um, got a fun little play, song to play I had a request for. That's what he used four chords. Well, five chords, because it's got an F chord in there also. Um, F chord's a little tricky. But let's start with just that chorus, because if you're a beginner, you're watching my videos, right? By the way, go Hokies. I graduated in 2003 from Virginia Tech. Fun little fact, I played football with Michael Vick. He was my training partner, and I was way stronger than him. He was faster, but I was stronger. So it's a fun little fact. I did a, many of y'all don't know, I did powerlifting competitions. I got two Virginia State records when I was 14 years old. So I was doing powerlifting from a super, super young age, probably too young, to be honest. But I used to, Michael Vick would do like 225, I'd throw another plate on top of it. Boom, smoke him on the bench press. So fun fact about your boy. Let's jam, let's jam a song here. Lock the two bottom strings. Fifth and sixth. So the three chords for the chorus, you're going to do a G, slide down to a C at nine that I call a C. Bottom five, then you go to the third string. Two, and then back to G. So it goes, I'm the one who wants to be with you. Deep inside, I hold me. All you're doing, you're listening to what are the chords, what's the order, what's the timing, a two count, G, C, D, back to G. And again, if you're new to my lessons, when you lock in those two bottom strings that stabilize that guitar, it's going to make your transition so much easier. Boom, 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 back to there. And, and also, by the way, I kind of keep the lessons as simple as possible. So if you wanted to play with the actual song, you'd have to capo the ninth fret, which is a lot. You'd be down here. And so if you want that little short guitar, like I got to teach my kids, you would capo the ninth fret to be in the same key that uh, Mr. Big plays it in. Uh, so let's go. There's your uh, your chorus. Your your fourth chord of the four big chords. Keep the bottom two lock. You can use two fingers, but I pre- I use one. Press right between the fifth and fourth. Strum all six. Hold on, little girl. Show me what he's done to you. So I did E minor for two. I mean G for two. Then down for C, then back to G. You can see why I teach C this way, guys, especially for a beginner. If you're if you're going to hear taking all your fingers off to a C, and all your fingers off G, all your fingers off back to a C, it just it's not worth the effort. Just keep it keep it keep it simple. Boom, 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 boom. But just moving those top two 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 fingers there. Hold on, little girl. Show me what he's done to you. Stand up, little girl. Broken heart can't be that bad. It's through, it's through. So nigga, C, G. Faith twisted both of you. Then that F chord again. Press the two bottom strings with one finger, then three, five, four. Come on, baby. Come on, oh, let me be the. Then D. Want to show you. So third, show you. Remember, guys, I always say strumming is about timing. If you don't have my strumming course yet and you still struggle with strumming, what's the old phrase? You could take a horse to the water, you can't make him drink. You got to get that. I'm super, super proud of that course. It's called the Ultimate Strumming Course. Thousands of y'all bought it, so thank you so much. Um, what it teaches you is learn that your right hand's like a drum and strumming is about timing. So once you get the down, 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 and you start getting it down, Top set kind of thing because you you understand that you're listening for the rhythm and the timing and you can do down ups down ups palm use the stopping the hammer ons all that kind of stuff as long as you're within that kind of chord set that timing 
So you understand what's the chords, what's the timing of the chords, and then you can do what you want. And I'll talk about that in the end, so scoop, go scoop that up. Um, but again, keep a, if you're a beginner, I still say just do down strums in your list for that timing to really get it down. Hold on, little girl, show me what he's done to you. Stand up, little girl, a broken heart can't be that bad. It's true, it's true. Faith twists the both of you. Come on, baby, come on over. Let me be the one to hold. If um, you want to go straight and play, um, I talk about the Matt McQueen track chords where you do like this. Just sliding up and down those two middle strings. That's E, C sharp minor, B, A. chords, what I call the track chords. It really rings out that sound, makes the guitar sound really rich and full. So if you want to work on those, you can do what's called transpose. So instead of a um, the E minor, it'd be a C sharp minor. Instead of a G, it'd be an E. Instead of a C, it'd be an A. that type in Matt McCoy transpose I got a bunch of um, free videos on here show you how to change chords to make them easier but y'all know I like to keep it with those simple chords the GCs GC minor D that kind of thing so hope it helps you guys hope it's been a blessing be, be sure to check out my website countrysongteacher.com all in word countrysongteacher.com and I hope it can be a blessing to you like I guess I've got strumming courses guitar courses uh, four chord songbooks all kinds of fun stuff so go check those out I love you more importantly God loves you let's go